data, data everywhere. In the digital landscape of today's organizations, there are thousands of data sources, of log sources, and we need those logs for analytics, compliance, and threat detection. So how do you gather all that data from all those sources? And how do you get it into your SIM where you can start making sense of it? Site collectors, that's how. Hi, I'm Chris, and in this video, we're going to talk about site collectors. What exactly is a site collector? And what are some of the key terms you should know to help you understand how site collectors work? The answers to those questions are coming up. Let's dive right in. What is a site collector? It's a software agent installed on network devices that collects logs from multiple local and remote sources. Similarly, log sources can come from a variety of devices, such as Windows servers, uh, Linux file servers, computers on the networks, routers, etc. There are also a lot of different types of logs that a site collector might be gathering. Uh, security logs, application logs, system logs, as well as flat or text files. So, all of these logs coming from all these different devices are collected, aggregated, and uploaded as a single stream of data. Then it's sent to a platform or service such as a SIM or Security Information and Event Management Solution. A good analogy here is uh, container shipping. Uh, think of these logs as containers being collected, then stacked on a ship for distribution. The containers come from multiple locations, but are then aggregated, sorted, and stacked for delivery. Logs can be either pushed or pulled. When logs are pushed, they are being gathered on the devices and sent to the site collector. This is usually more efficient from a log collection perspective. It works by setting policies on the devices to send their logs at regular intervals or when there are new logs. Uh, for instance, uh, this factory makes gears. The instructions at the factory are, send all the gears to the assembly site as they are built. This is the push. When a site collector pulls logs from devices, it's sending out requests for the latest logs and pulling them in. This factory makes springs, but it won't send the springs on its own. The assembly site needs to send requests at regular intervals to get the springs shipped. This is the pull. The log collection process can be a bit more involved. Now, some site collectors may perform different types of processing on logs they collect before they're sent to their destination. One example is filtering for specific logs. Uh, let's say an organization has a certain firewall set to produce debug level logs. Now, from a security perspective, these logs are rather useless. So, when the site collector pulls from this firewall, it doesn't want to process and store all of that debugging information so it will filter those logs out. Now, in our manufacturing analogy, it would be like the assembly site dropping all the gears that aren't useful. Lastly, site collectors need to have a solution if communication to the destination is lost. Most site collectors will continue to collect logs from devices and buffer that data on a local disk until communication with the destination is restored. Then, they'll push all of that stored data onward to the destination. Now, we also need to understand those containers. Let's look at some common methods of log shipping to the typical site collector. First is syslog. Syslog is a standard network-based logging protocol that works on a wide variety of devices and applications, allowing them to send free text formatted log messages. The site collector will listen for syslog on a specific port. For example, you can set up a syslog policy on a firewall or other network device to automatically send their syslog data over to the collector. The site collector will have a port open to listen for and receive the syslog data when it is sent. Most non-window logs are sent as syslog. Next we have Windows Event Forwarding, or WEF, and Windows Event Collection, or WEC, so commonly known as wef -WEC. This is a Windows native method of aggregating events from multiple endpoints. Most organizations with a Windows install base will use wef -WEC to pre-aggregate Windows events before sending on to a site collector. Uh, some applications or services don't write Windows events. Instead, they'll write a log file to disk. They are called flat files and may also be found on Unix systems. These files are often compressed to save space. Flat files are typically collected by a locally installed agent. There are also DB collectors, or database collectors, which pull logs directly from a database, uh, typically using an open standard called JDBC, or Java Database Connectivity. While common in the past, DB collectors have become increasingly rare, 
They are only necessary when an application or service writes its logs to a database rather than to a Windows events or disk. Site collectors are important to any business interested in using a SIM and improving their cybersecurity visibility. Now you know more about their role and how they work. Without site collectors, a SIM is useless, just like an empty container ship with nothing to carry. For more videos like this, check out Exabeam's YouTube channel. And if you're looking for a cybersecurity solution with powerful new technology for threat detection, investigation, and response, and you want to see Exabeam in action, go to exabeam.com and request a demo.